using Zenmuse L1 during mapping mission. Install the Zenmuse L1 onto the single downward gimbal of the Matrice 300 RTK and turn on the remote controller and the aircraft. Launch the DJI Pilot app. Go to Common Settings, RTK. Select the RTK service type and ensure the RTK service is properly connected. Leave the M300 RTK idle on the ground to warm up for at least five minutes, ensuring a stable operating temperature for the high-precision INS-IMU of the Zenmuse L1. After the warm-up is complete, the prompt, the payload INS-IMU warmed up, will show up on the app. Adjust camera parameters such as ISO, shutter, and EV value according to the surroundings in order to create good exposure for the photos. Return to the app homepage. Select Mission Flight. Create and choose the mission type required. Select Camera Zenmuse L1, LiDAR Mapping, and enable the Calibration Flight option. Adjust the flight route altitude, recommended at 164 to 328 feet, and speed, recommended at 2.2 to 4.5 miles per hour. Tap Advanced Settings and adjust side overlap, LiDAR, to 50% or above. Set the course angle and margin. Tap Payload Settings. Select the Return Mode, LiDAR Sample Rate, and Scan Mode as required. Save the mission after setting the parameters. You can set and save all the task parameters indoors in advance. Click the Play button on the left. Set the Upon Completion and Out of Control Action option and name the folder where the data will be stored. Upload the flight mission and then start it. When performing a mapping mission, the aircraft will automatically accelerate and decelerate for a distance when it reaches the first and the last waypoint of the flight path. In order to calibrate the INS-IMU of the Zenmuse L1 and improve point cloud's accuracy, when performing other types of missions, the aircraft will perform a figure eight calibration flight instead. Make sure the areas near the first and last waypoints are clear of obstacles within a 100 foot range to ensure flight safety. During the mission, the LiDAR and mapping camera will automatically start data acquisition. Please refer to the tutorial video using Zenmuse L1 during manual flights for how to preview point cloud results in real time. After the mission is completed, land the aircraft and power it off. Remove the SD card from the Zenmuse L1, insert the SD card into the computer, and check if the number of newly generated files and their dates are correct. If only the mapping camera is needed to capture images, select the camera as Zenmuse L1, Photogrammetry. The L1 LiDAR will not scan point cloud data during the mission, and only the mapping camera will be operating. If any error occurs during the mission, go to Common Settings and click on Export the Zenmuse L1 Logs in the app to export the logs to their SD card. 